Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for October, uh, tarot and Lenormand reading excuse me for October 8th to October 14th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that this is a general reading for the Pisces star sign and this is not your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to align them, uh, to make sense of them and to align them to your personal uh, situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So, uh, that being said, I want to announce you again that uh, the monthly videos are uh, already out. And, um, you know, you can check them if you like to, to see what awaits your star sign uh, throughout the months of October. And if you find them helpful and you want to know even more, there are extended monthly tarot readings for the months of October for all the star signs that can be purchased for $1.49 each video and in each video we are going to look at a couple of spreads specifically career and relationship to shed more light upon what is to happen for the star sign so that being said going to the tarot reading first for the week now the first card will be about the core of the situation the second card is about uh, uh, the first card is about the topic of the week excuse me the second card is about the core of the situation the third card will be the challenges which are causing predicaments or something that needs to be overcome and the last one is going to be the guidance that tarot has to offer for you so let's see what you have to face here Pisces now the first card that will be the four of wants so four of wants is generally about completion and about having um, satisfaction should I say that way because a, a cycle of development is coming to a successful ending but that cycle of development it is not the end of the line all right that is just a, a milestone therefore very often this car reflects that the plans we have made are already um, thoroughly created therefore we can now start initiating upon those plans we are not talking about here uh, about, about the culmination of one's undertaking or if I take a relationship for example then that card could express that the dating stage of the relationship is over and now the relationship can go even on a higher level so it's about yeah it's about developing uh, finalizing a cycle of development here but continue, continuing in, uh, further into the future where you have to still nurture that situation where you have to still work for it but at least you will have a, a foundation here to step on with the four of ones also as a topic uh, that could be a sign that very important matter will come to your knowledge that you can capitalize on and that you can further you know uh, improve your situations either career wise or either relationship wise but it's very important to be acknowledged when we do have this card is that that is a card of a huge impulse so uh, especially how Alistair Crowley explains the card is like a circle in in within in, and in this circle within there is a, a huge amount of power to be released and this week you have the time to deliberate where that power should be released on either your relationship or either your career and this is what we're talking about a finalizing of a cycle completing the circle all right and in the, in this circle we harvest so much energy and power that afterwards the development of whatever we are after should be a, a piece of cake. Then the next card that we do have, this is going to be the core of the situation, that will be the Five of Cups and now the Four of Wands becomes uh, with even much more sense. So what I can make of those couple of cards is that you basically will be sick some people to dictate what you have to do or some people to ruin uh, the fruits of your labor and to ruin what you are working for. Therefore, it does look like this time around you are going to take 
everything in your personal hands and there you are going to push it further singular because the five of cups shows that the four of wands is going to take place based on a huge disappointment of that the things aren't developing in the way that you have expected so you have expected just to give you an example here and let's say that it's about career let's say that you have gave a job to somebody to a co-worker of yours and you had a full trust in that person that they will get the job done and your project is revolving around that job but suddenly it turns out that they failed and you have to take you know the matter in your own hands and push it forward and that will create the prerequisite here you know to make it even better than you have anticipated but it will take a little bit more time and what the five of cups here say that even if um, you know that cycle of development is founded upon a, a certain disappointment you know or misfortunate development of the undertakings that you are after either career, uh, career or relationship wise this part asks uh, this card excuse me asks you not to not to deviate from the path that you have taken so what you are doing even though you are a little bit behind schedule here it is exactly the thing that you need to push on forward and reach a, uh, to the completion of this cycle of development and this is why most likely that important matter here will be revealed through the disappointment through the failure of someone else or someone that you have counted on all right but uh, you have to be also very important if you bring the matter to an, an emotional level because then uh, you may risk that um, a lot of uh, kind of like healed wounds will be reopened again and that is uh, very accurate for uh, for for relationship reading so you have to be very careful how you approach your partners in your relationship because you may provoke a serious outburst here that will help you to um, complete the cycle of development Siri have been turned on again <laughs> so that will help you to um, finalize that cycle of development but not but not exactly maybe in the very best approach that you could have take so uh, the next one that will be about the challenges that has to be overcome here we do have the nine of cups and the nine of cups is about abundance and the nine of cups is about sustain but the sustain comes from a long shot so what the card generally means is that it's about happiness but a short-term happiness and further efforts needs to be incorporated so that short-term happiness can become a long-term happiness so basically that could be a challenge here you know after you reach that cycle of development um, and complete it to sustain it and you have to be very um very aware what is in stake as soon as you achieve that milestone of yours also the nine of cups here points that maybe not all of that you have to do here is uh, according to your liking and not because the things aren't going to develop the way you have expected but because there will be that delay i told you here that you probably placed your hopes into someone you should have not and they have failed you and now you have that bitter taste of disappointment within your mouth nonetheless the nine of cups here asks you to realize that that was kind of like a necessary step you could have taken uh, kind of which will help you to um, obtain the the insight that if you want to do something right you best do it yourself you know so don't get over trust over trustly throughout the week but kind of rather uh, trust the healthy sense of mistrust if I may express myself that way and then what we do have at the at the end of the reading that will be the the, the the guidance excuse me that the tarot has to offer for you Pisces this is the eight of pentacles and that card says that you rather want to approach your matter meticulously this time around because probably that person you have placed a great hope at was rather careless all right they they, they just simply didn't didn't give a damn about how is this going to work out or not it's, it was a chore for them but not for you that will be something sub substantial for you and that's why you have to be meticulous you need to have 
keen eye for the minor details, attend to the, to the small predicaments that may appear here and there, so you don't have to deal with them further into the future when they escalate and become severe predicaments. All right, but above everything else, um, the plan that you may create for your approach, either toward your relationship or toward your career, will be the um, the mandatory, if I may express myself that way. So everything needs to happen according to how you planned it, or you should act according to how you planned it. Every deviation from that path that you have consciously taken here with the Five of Cups, or, or AKA your plan, will result in even more disappointments. So uh, uh, what this also tells us is that you have to be confident within your planning and you need to be kind of like confident within your actions and you need to be true to yourself as well. And even though we have a lot of cups here, uh, these are not exactly, especially in these positions, are not exactly the cards asking you to do things emotionally. So even if you go into disputes with uh, your beloved one or you kind of involve yourself into rangos, you know, take a deep breath, withdraw for a moment just to, you know, calm your waverings and um, then, you know, the, the the approach that you should obtain so you can resolve that rango will become a little bit more logical, you know, and a little bit more practical and this is what you need here, practic uh, solutions rather than emotional solutions because the four of wands isn't about emotion it's about passion uh, but that passion should be tamed as I explained the circle of power so practical solutions are what you need to go for rather than emotional solution, uh, solutions and that is further um, here guided through the eight of pentacles because the guy is practicing the guy is making money or is making stability and the stability can be achieved not through emotional distortion but through a incorporating practical solutions so that being said this was your uh, weekly tarot reading here pisces and now let's go to the lenormand card reading now what the lenormand cards are going to show us is an event that you should either um look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So let's see what we got. Uh, the first card, that will be the Rider. Now the Rider stands for information, it stands for innovation, it stands for a new beginning. The second card, this is going to be the key. The key is about opening or closing, the key is about discovery, all right? And then the last one, this is going to be the star. Now the star is about finding a way. It is a about luck. It is a about direction. So what we do have here, what the Lenormand says, is that a situation, or not situation, but an information will offer you a discovery of the right way. So knowing here we do what I mentioned is that you will become aware of an important matter which is going to be that information or an innovation also could be taken as an innovation or and that will be also provoked by the um, but it is appointment so we do have an insight here from these three cards which will allow you to truly understand and discover what should be the next course of actions here with the star card so the true event that we do have is this obtaining of an information information the next cards are just pointing what that information could be used for and shame if you act emotionally here and miss your window of opportunity to actually incorporate that information in your plans so that being said pisces this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for october 8 to october 14 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again that was just a general reading for Pisces star sign and that was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below on the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.